What we're going to do now is we're going to create a painting of dots. Last week we used markers to create our dots like Vashi did in the book The Dot. And this week we're going to use paints just like she did. Now, these paints are dry right now. They are not wet, they are not going to get on you. So they are probably dry if I'm just handing them to you. The way that these paints work, so if I take this, I can't put it on my paper anyway. But the way these work is you get your paintbrush full of water. I'm going to make a green dot first. And you go around and around and around and around about 10 times till your paintbrush turns the color that your paint is. So my paintbrush has turned green and now I'm ready to make my dot. I want a bigger dot than that. I just spin my paintbrush around like that. Then, when I want another color, I just dip my brush in the water and I get a different color. Now, you have to make sure that you spin your brush around enough in the color. Watch what happens if I do not. If I just go one, two, three, I'm done. Now, my brush is not the color orange. And my color orange dot is not very orange. But if I spin my brush around and around a bunch of times and make my brush orange, then it becomes orange. The other thing I want to tell you is when you get your paint and you're ready to put that paint on the paper, do not jab the paper rah, like that. Just press it on there gently spin it around to make a dot. I'm going to make lots of dots. It's going to be a big one. Now, as you can see, my yellow is a little bit messy. So to get it clean, I get some water and I get it nice and wet. Then I get a paper towel, fold it up, and wipe away the part that's yucky. There we go. Now I've got a nice, clean yellow. I'm going to make a little dot of yellow right there. And a big dot of yellow over here. Now if you want to mix the paint, that is okay. But you can only mix two paints at a time. So, I am going to mix um, I'm going to mix blue and I get lots of blue on my paint and red to see what happens. And I made a red purple. I think I'm going to get a little bit more blue there, a little bit more on my paint, or my red. Blue and red make purple. There. Now, I can't leave my blue and my red like that, because the person I'm sharing the paint with might not want that. Or the people that use paints next in the next class might not. So I get my red nice and wet. I find a clean spot on my paper towel and I wipe it away just like that. And then you can continue to make more dots. I'm going to take my red and I'm going to mix it with one more color. I'm going to mix it with white. And I get pink. Lovely. Then I clean it away. So that it's white again. There we go. Now I'm going to do green and blue. And 
Now, if you were to mix more than two colors, you would just end up with a yucky brown. We don't want a yucky brown. My green and blue made a turquoise. Very nice. And you could just fill your paper up with dots. Remember, we're just making dots, not lines, not today, not for this project, maybe for another project. I'm going to put a little dot there. Now, what is cool is this paint is already dry. So maybe I'll put a green dot inside my yellow dot. Maybe I'll put an orange dot inside my red dot. Maybe I'll put a black dot on top of my pink dot. It's up to you. It's up to you.